Hello, very good morning and welcome to a new video in which we are going to do a maintenance to this projector lever. Actually, it is a bit generic maintenance for any economic projector since they all use more or less the same system. We are also going to try to reduce the noise that makes the projector, which for my point of view is one of the weak points of this projector. Weak points of this projector. Well, let's get down to business. We're going to start by removing this little cap, which in principle is to clean the lens crystals from here, but as you can see it's a bit complicated since we have very little space. Here on the side we have another filter that as we can see is full of dust. And okay, yes we have, which as we can see is full of dust. And, okay, yes, I should have removed the projector from below because it is getting full of shit, but well, I will clean it later. This in principle would be the official cleaning that should be done to the projector, let's say the maintenance recommended by the manufacturer, but as we are now going to check, this is not enough. From here, there is no turning back. We are going to remove the sticker of the warranty, the super mega warranty of the projector. Now we are going to remove the screws at the bottom of the projector. These are star screws. And now we would give a turn to the projector and this cover must be removed with a kind of disassembler of these that is plastic or any plastic thingy not to scratch it. Which as we can see is full of dust. And uh, okay, yes I should have removed the projector from below because it is getting full of shit. But well, I will clean it later. This in principle would be the official cleaning that should be done to the projector. Let's say the maintenance recommended by the manufacturer. But as we are now going to check, this is not enough. From here there is no turning back. We are going to remove the sticker of the warranty, the super mega warranty of the projector. Now we are going to remove the screws at the bottom of the projector. These are star screws. And now we would give a turn to the projector and this cover must be removed uh, with a kind of disassembler of these that is plastic or any plastic thingy not to scratch it. Be careful when removing the cover, because if it has some kind of screen or a button panel, as is the case of this projector, it will have a cable that will connect it. Do not start it, because otherwise it will break. Here I leave the distribution of this projector, but as I say, 90% of this type of projectors will vary little, more or less is the same. Now, the most interesting thing is to disassemble the area of the mirrors, which is probably where all the dust is and what prevents us from seeing the screen well. With the same screwdriver that we have used to open it, we can also disassemble the inside. We would only need a smaller screwdriver for some type of screw that is there, such as the speakers and something else, but come on, almost everything with the screwdriver we are using. Before removing the wires, it is advisable to take a picture, although in this case the board is marked each connector for what it is, but not to confuse us later. It is well to make a photo and then to mount again. This orange wire that you see here, which is like a chip, it is better not to remove it because it can be removed without problems, but well, it is a little more tedious to assemble, a little more delicate. If I can avoid it, I'm not going to remove it. It has a turbine here to put in there, which we're going to change so it doesn't make so much noise. Here we can see the mirror area and it's placed here. The idea is to replace it with a fan, because if you notice, the air can only follow one path, and that is between the crystals. Its ultimate purpose is to cool the power supply, which is right next to the lens, where I have it at hand. It also makes an airflow that goes in here and out the other side, so that clean air comes in and hot air goes out the other side. This glass has a swing and it is to make the tilt of the screen which is regulated from the lens. This is the screen, be careful not to scratch it or break the cable, as I said before. As you can see in the left area it has a lot of dust, and this is the strip that you can see on the screen on the left side.
we see that this glass also has a thin layer of dust specks. This might have come from the factory like this because I haven't had it that long either, but well, I didn't look at it the first day and I don't know. We cleaned it very carefully so as not to cut or break the glass. By the way, it is very thin glass. Here you would need the tiny screwdriver that I mentioned before. This is a speaker that I'm going to remove to clean the dust underneath these grills. We are going to clean the screen with a pencil of a reflex camera that has a small brush with very soft lines so as not to scratch it. Be very careful not to hit it with a cloth. If we scratch this, we are already lost. If we only wanted to clean the dust, we would not need to remove anything else. But as we are also going to change the fans, we have to disassemble practically everything. This way we can also see all the parts in detail. Here below the board we can see the other speaker. As you can see I am avoiding at all costs to remove the screen connector. Very carefully we are disconnecting everything so as not to pull out any wires. We remove the last plastic and we can see the fan that we have to change. As we see, the fan is the typical fan of a computer. It will be easy to find a more silent. But anyway, I'll leave the link of which I bought. We also see here the power supply. Behind is the heat sink. This we see here yellow is the LED lamp. It takes a lot of temperature, that's why it has the heatsink behind. Well, now that we have seen everything, let's go with the assembly. You may be thinking, this guy said he has changed the fans and is mounting the same ones again. Well, yes, I mounted the same ones because they had not yet arrived. And, well, it's just a matter of changing one for the other and they fit perfectly. The only thing I had to do is change the connector to be compatible with the board. I have to tell you that the sound has been reduced a lot. I have not been able to measure it, but before, in the silence of the night, I can tell you that I have the projector above my head and it was uncomfortable to listen to the movie. Now it remains as a sound that can be heard, but it can be considered background sound. I don't know if I make myself clear. And as for temperatures, I have even had it on for about three hours and I didn't notice that the temperature is excessive either. The assembly is simply to reassemble everything being careful not to nip any cable, leave everything connected and put all the screws after testing it. I did not notice a change in image quality but the dust strip I had on the screen was gone. I am going to leave you here also a label with a review I did of this projector. That is going to come out up here, it will be coming out. Well with this the projector would already be clean. The fans change to see if we get to do something less noise and nothing to tell you that you can also go to see my videos. And if you like the theme of the channel and the things I'm taking as I would do me a big favor if you subscribe to the channel. Well then nothing, I'm going to hang the projector to see if I see a couple of movies. And you can stay here watching some more videos, or if not then nothing. When I get the next video, I will let you know a greeting, and until next time.